Welcome to ChinaSecures.com and Chinese Stocks TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press releases out of Chinese small and mid-cap space at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great Chinese investments Monday, October the 4th. I've got one press release for you and in fact, it's more of an educational press release. It comes out of Sino Coke and Coal and Coke Chemical trades on the NASDAQ SCOK. They're announcing their full year and fourth quarter numbers. I'm not going to go into the details because in fact, I want to point something out to you and it's a good education piece here for you. Uh, gross profits decreased 77% to $1.7 million. That's from $7.6 million for the same quarter last year. And it looks like that's on uh, uh, margin constriction there because gross margins were 15.8% compared to 49% last year. So that on its face tells you things are going in the wrong direction for the company. However, then we took a look at the gap net income numbers. And in fact, those are up close to 1,000% to $64.5 million from about $6.3 million for the same period last year. So you're wondering, how can gross profits be down, net income go up? And especially, how can gross profits be at just $1.7 million and you got net income at $64.5 million? Well, the answer is they're adjusting for the value of warrants on the books, and that's driven net income through the roof. It gives them an earnings per share of $2.91 for the quarter. They're trading at $9.29 as of Friday, so you may figure you've stumbled on a gem here. But this is a warning to everybody. This is a company I'd probably stay away from for now uh, just based on these net income numbers. I'm not liking the, this kind of wild fluctuation in the net income numbers, especially when it's based on warrants and not even up in, not even revenue or gross margins, but strictly based, uh, based on warrant. So uh, education piece for the day, not a couple we'd normally be highlighting on China securities, but something I think is worth the discussion, worth pointing out, and you can always go take a closer look. Uh, unfortunately, no other material news for the day, so that's a wrap. If you're looking for more great Chinese small mid-cap companies and look for great leads, get some of the front page of ChinaSecurities.com. Three things to do there. Watch the archives of this daily show on your favorite, on your favorite video channel. Two, take a look at the best press releases out of the out of the Chinese small mid cap space that came out last week. We archive them there and keep them on a rolling basis. We've separated them by industry so you can find the ones that appeal to you. And finally, get stuff into the directory, tracking by almost 300 of what we believe to be the best Chinese small mid cap companies trading on North American exchanges. Great succinct descriptions of each one. Plus, you can filter the list by industry and or exchange to get it down to a manageable list that best suits your portfolio. Very useful, very helpful. Hope you drop by. Otherwise, have a great day. That's a wrap. See you tomorrow.